We live in a world of rising powers. Countries like India have always been significant on the world stage, and now they are taking uh, their place as great powers in international order. Increasingly, we live in a multipolar world that's no longer dominated by the West. And with that comes the need to investigate seriously the historical lineages of how India thinks internationally. We're often told in international, in international relations that this is a dis discipline that begins in Europe or North America and then spreads elsewhere. I found a thriving debate on international order, on the way that the world is constructed, coming from Indian scholars, activists uh, and elites. And I speak in particular about Indian international thought and a group of thinkers and movements that were globally mobile in the opening decades of the 20th century. And I was looking at anti-colonial archives of Indian activists, independence activists, the sorts of arguments that emerge from these archives that are not so much about emancipation, but touch on ideas of empire, on ideas of colonization, um, and ideas that we might describe as hierarchical. And that goes against what we normally expect to see uh, in anti-colonial archives. There are three different sites that I look at. The first site is the debate over the presence of Indians in East Africa. Some argued that East Africa should become a colony for Indian labourers and merchants, and that the Indians in East Africa could perform an almost civilising role, um, civilising what they refer to as the native population. Another site is the idea of Greater India. The idea of Akan Bharat, or undivided India, has emerged from certain elements of the Hindu nationalist right. Reimagining India's cultural and political space as incorporating not just India, but some of the regional countries as well, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, parts of Southeast Asia, and even right over to parts of the Middle East and East Africa. And what I show is that these ideas have a deeper historical lineage. They come from somewhere. And the third site uh, is the international political thought of Benoit Kumasaka, a Bengali sociologist who used some of the ancient Indian texts to argue for a deep tradition of Indian international thought that contained a lot of ideas um, of hierarchy uh, and empire within it. India is a major world player in the contemporary period. And so this research is hopefully investigating the multiple histories by which India's international status and thought has come about.